So, I've gotten countless private messages asking me where PewDiePie's house is. Where does Felix live? You found PewDiePie's Minecraft seed, what about his house? And other questions just like that. So I thought I'd give it a try. I analyzed all of PewDiePie's recent content and came to the conclusion that he was in the same place every time that he recorded recently. I was able to determine this by looking at the background and recognizing that it was the same. Now, PewDiePie does a good job at not revealing too much information, so that made it very difficult. However, he made one crucial mistake. Behind him, he had a mirror, and in that mirror, there was a painting. Now, this isn't just any ordinary painting. This painting was the Sobol Bukraple, and it has only been sold twice in the last 50 years. Twice. That means a 50-50 shot as to which sale was to PewDiePie. One of the sales was in America, and the other was in, you guessed it, North Africa. North Africa. Now. Using that information, we were able to track down a man by the name of Abdoway. He told me that he had sold it to a large, sexy man by the name of Felix. I decided to look past that awkward comment and instead look at the bright side. We tracked down the painting using only one photo. With the rest of the information the seller gave us, we were able to locate within a 50 mile radius where his house was. So we pulled up Google Maps and we started looking. We hit a dead end though, as we couldn't quite find his house. So we went back to analyzing footage. In one of his recent videos, his computer was visible in the background. There wasn't much we could really see, but we zoomed in. Then we zoomed in some more. Then even a little bit more. And even though this looks just like pixels to you, to a computer program, this was perfect. I put a team of developers on creating a program to parse this image and figure out what it was. They successfully did this, and we found out what it said. It turns out, it was crucial information. It was actually his address. Now, we weren't sure this was going to be enough information to help us find his address, so we made sure to take our time. After many more hours of searching, we decided to give up and just try with the information we had. We plugged it into Google Maps, and then we zoomed in. We zoomed all the way in until we were at Street View. And boom! It was his house. We had successfully found PewDiePie's house just by looking at it. For those of you who can't tell, this is just a meme. I tried to make it as obvious as possible so people wouldn't freak out and dislike, but I'm sure there's still some people who didn't get the joke. It's just a joke. We didn't actually find his address. There, there was no trying to find his address in any way. That's such an invasion of privacy. Obviously, no one should ever do that. I thought this was pretty funny as people were treating me like I did this when I released his seed, all the hate I got. But I did think it was pretty great to see that PewDiePie actually responded to us and that he said he thought it was awesome what we did. He said that he hadn't seen any spoilers yet and that there was, there was not much left to spoil, so he thought it was really cool. Here's a clip of him talking about it. People finding PewDiePie's Minecraft seed is just making it worse for Pewds. As he said, he wanted to give it after he had fought the Ender Dragon, so people wouldn't ruin the experience for him. Since the seed is out now, please don't ruin it for Felix. Don't worry about it, okay? I said in the last video that I didn't want the Minecraft seed. It sounds so weird using the my seed, but... <laughs> Apparently, some very nifty people figured out what my Minecraft seed is just by pinpointing locations in my map, which is pretty awesome. It's pretty impressive. Uh, but ironically, at the very same time I said in my video uh, that I don't want to keep my seed because I don't want people to spoil. Uh, but no one's spoiled so far, so I think it's totally fine. Basically, this means you all can experience meeting Jurgen and Sven for the first time yourself. Anyway, a lot of epic stuff has come from the seed being found, like Grande making an awesome meme, and PewDiePie Museum server, and, and everything else that's happened since then. So I think it's really awesome. Make sure to subscribe though, and like this video, that way you can see my content in the future. I love each and every one of you guys. Bye.